Hello and welcome to this episode of the Consonant Cluster series. Today we're looking at the ulb cluster. So the two sounds that we need to be making, we've got a form of the owl, but actually we're, we're making the dark owl sound. So if you haven't um, previously met that idea, that concept, um, check out the notes below and I'll include a link to the video where I talk about that. Um, basically, if we're making an owl at the front of the mouth, that's the light owl, and that sounds like l, l, as in the word like. But if we're at the, usually it's at the end of a word, um, the owl will be made further back in the mouth. It's almost like we're swallowing it. So that's the owl we want here. And it sounds like all, all. So all and b, which is the second sound here. So in the image, the lips are pinched together and then we release, we open the lips and allow the sound, the b, to come out. So all, b together becomes orb, orb. Okay, repeat after me, orb, orb. So we've got a very small selection of words that you're going to find this sound in or this sound combination. So listen and repeat after me nice and loud. Bulb. Bulbs. Flash bulb. Light bulb. Light bulbs. Now, there are a few other words in English that have this L B ending, but the ones that I came across were unusual words that uh, wouldn't be worth practicing, I don't think, because they're not going to be very high frequency vocabulary. So this set here is the main set of words that has this ulb ending. However, let's just have a cautionary note. So my cautionary note is this. You're going to find lots of words in English that look like the L and the B are next to each other. But if you see on the right hand side, the phonemic script or the phonetic script, there's a dot in between. So if you go to a good dictionary online and check the word album, elbow, toolbox, what you'll find in the script is that there's a dot between the L and the B. And what that means is this is not a cluster it's a break in syllables. So we don't pronounce these as orb. So I'll give you an example. And what I want you to do is just don't think too hard. Just repeat after me, first of all, and then we'll, we'll think about it. So we'll read through the list of words, copy what you hear, and don't try and glide the L and the B together. Listen and repeat then. Album. Elbow, toolbox, mailbox, tailback. So hopefully, as you repeated each word, you felt that there was a little clip, a little break between the L and the B. So what we've seen in this video is two different things with words like bulb, a light bulb, the orb is gliding or blending together. But most of the occurrences you're going to encounter in English, they will not glide. There will be a syllable break at the end. So after the L and before the B, so we're not gliding them together. So that's the cautionary note. That's your takeaway point from this video. Although it's handy to be able to pronounce the orb at the end of bulb, don't over apply this rule. Most of the times in English, you're not going to be pronouncing LB as ALB. There will be a syllable break. So please remember that's really important. So if you found that useful, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And if you want to work with other consonant clusters, then go ahead and check out the playlist. I've done loads of these now. If you want to do other types of practice with English, such as idioms or verbs, 
or IELTS prep, then go ahead and check out the homepage. There's plenty of material there to keep you busy. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.